For the first time, he suggested pretty strongly, if you read the transcript, that what had caused his uh, throat cancer was oral sex. He's slightly backtracked today, but if you read the transcript, that is clearly what he said. He was asked directly, could it be linked to your smoking or drinking or partying? He said, no, no, this type of cancer is caused by cunnilingus, oral sex, as he said. Right. Is he right? Well, he may be right. I mean, about 70% of the new cancers, oropharyngeal, tonsillar, back of the tongue, are actually caused by, you know, the HPV virus that people acquire through oral sex. In the old days, it was primarily alcohol and cigarettes, but they seem to occur in the front of the mouth, the, the tongue, the cheeks. This is a special, increasing, very scary new type of cancer because of the prevalence of oral sex in this country or any country. And the good news is that it's a little easier to treat. Can you be vaccinated like, like you would anything else? Well, this is very, that, that's why this is so critically important. You know, we have an HPV vaccine that, you know, young women are given and now an increasing number of young men are given to reduce the likelihood of HPV infection, which results in cervical cancer. But now there's going to be a push to determine whether or not the same vaccine will also be helpful. It's not proven yet, but it's a very strong suggestion. The problem is that sooner or later, most young people will acquire HPV infection through sexual contact. 90% will clear it, so nothing really happens. But the small number that, ha that are unlucky enough to have, let's say, HPV-16, one of the 40 to 100 different variants that are associated with cancer, you know, they're going to be in trouble. Now, the problem is that, you know, with oral cancer, there are no symptoms. You don't even know you have this. And the latency period, the time from the acquisition of this virus to the time that you actually get sick could be 15 to 30 years. So if Mr. Douglas did acquire this, it could have been 15 to 30 years ago. Right, I mean, that would rule out his wife, Catherine Zidane Jones, as being potentially a carrier for this. Well, you know, th this is a, a real serious issue because not only do you have to worry about who's transmitting it to you, but now a person who has an oropharyngeal cancer of the HPV type, he's, he's potentially contagious to his spouse. Fortunately, the incidence of that transmission is very low, according to the most latest studies which occurred about a week ago. His spokesman said Michael Douglas did not say that cunnilingus oral sex was a cause of his cancer. It was discussed that oral sex as, is a suspected cause of certain oral cancers, as doctors in the article point out, but he did not say it was the specific cause of his personal cancer. Slightly raining back there, although, as I say, if you read the transcript put yeah, out by the Guardian, I, I, I think he was a bit more direct than I, that. I think the point is that oral sex is not safe sex. It's safer, mm. but it's not safe. Right. And HPV, uh, syphilis, gonorrhea, all, a, a bunch of you know, STDs can be transmitted that So way. actually, probably quite an important wake-up call regardless. Well, absolutely, and HPV really can become an epidemic you know, by the year 2020 if this turns out to really be the, you know, a, a, a true, true issue with HPV. So we should applaud Michael Douglas for raising it, absolutely. even if he now wishes he hadn't. Absolutely, <laughs> and it's going to encourage young men to start getting this vaccine as well, yeah. which is really...